The truth is finding inspiration for TikTok ads is quite hard and you'd like to know what are your competitors or other businesses in your industry currently running on the platform before you start spending a penny on ads? Well, in today's video, I'll be showing you exactly how to spy on your competitors ads on TikTok, see what type of ads they're running, see the exact ads that are currently live on their platform, and also see if they're running ads in the first place. My name is Justin and I'm the founder of Wizzle Media, an e-commerce marketing agency specializing in elevating thriving brands by simplifying e-commerce growth. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, as well as turn on post notifications to be one of the first to know about these cutting edge e-commerce marketing tips, post on the channel every week. So the first thing I'm going to mention at the beginning of this video is please install the TikTok Pixel Helper. If you're familiar with the world of advertising, you know that Google also has that, that Facebook also has that with their platform, which allows you to see if there's a pixel in the first place on a given website. So that way you can head over to a competitor's website and see whether or not they're currently running ads. And you can see whether or not they currently at least have a TikTok pixel installed. So as an example, I am on Bloom Cosmetics websites. Uh, make sure that you have disabled all ad blockers or you know sort of privacy filters that you may have on your browser because this may or may not trigger the pixel and then from there I can just go on my extensions and I can see right there that the TikTok pixel extension is actually on. I can see that the page view event was actually triggered as soon as I open up that page. So basically there is a pixel installed on that site and it shows basically TikTok pixel for Shopify. So it also tells you basically that this is a Shopify website. Now, a tool that I recommend for you to spy on competitors ads is called Big Spy. So bigspy.com is actually a tool that allows you to spy on a lot of advertising platforms and you can go pretty narrow with the filters that you can add on their platform. So first of all, you can choose the advertising platform that you wanna filter through. So in this case, I could pick TikTok. Then you can choose what type of website the platform is sending traffic to. So if you want to check as an example, only Shopify websites, then you can do that. And then you can also filter by country or region by format or type of ad, you know, is this a video or photo? Um, you can choose the language, the engagement rates, the marketing objectives, you know, are we going for conversions or whatnot? Uh, the type of landing page it's sending ads to the, you know, time frame. So basically are we looking back 90 days in the past or are we looking just the past seven days? As an example, you know, they also have only new ads here. And then at the top, you can also search per keywords, advertiser name, developer, you know, fan page. There's so many filters that you can add. So you can go very narrow with the type of ads you're looking for. So honestly, I would say this is one of the best places right now to look for ads inspiration on TikTok, or at least look for what other people are running out there. What's in your industry? Um, Basically, they have a free plan, which is honestly, that's what I'm on right now. Um, there's not a lot of information that you can have in the free plan. Basically, their paid plan is definitely the best, which allows you to, to unlock all of these filters. If you're only on the free plan, you can only choose from the platform. You cannot really have all of these other filters, but it is basically just $9 if you want the regular plan or for three days. So basically, if you just want to try out the software just to see how you like it, it's literally a dollar for three days. So if you are running like a, a big campaign, right now you want to make sure that your competition as an example is not uh you know running similar ads or you want to make sure that you are running better ads than they are then you could just hop on their plan for a dollar for three days do as many searches as you would want and then save all of these ads with a tool like addison that i shared in one of my previous videos so it allows you to create a swipe file from ads you're seeing on the tiktok or the facebook ad library and the links on there do not expire. So they are there forever. And if you ever save an ad on that platform, you can even leave some notes. So I highly recommend you check out this tool and you can use that in conjunction with Big Spy. So you first find your ad inspiration through Big Spy and then you save those ads to Addison. Then obviously comes the TikTok Creative Center. That's like the sort of go-to way for you to finding ads within the TikTok platform. A little bit like the Facebook ad library, though it's definitely not as complete as the Facebook ad library is because you cannot search for specific brands or advertisers out there. You can kind of see the most successful ads that are currently running. But again, you can still filter through region so you can enter a specific country. You can still go through industry. So again, let's say I was a Canadian brand as an example. So I could go to Canada. I could go to, uh, you know, let's say I'm an, I'm an apparel brand within the 
uh, you know, let's just select all apparel as an example. So I could go apparel, I could choose campaign objective and then narrow it down essentially and find a pretty good idea of what the competition is running. So I'm not gonna lie, their country filter is not the best. Like it does limit you quite a lot. So what I would recommend is leave the countries outside of that or maybe pick more than one country, but definitely I would say just leave the countries pretty open. Choose your industry you want from there here. Choose the objective and then filter through these ads because chances are you'll find the best ads this way. And it's also a good way to explore the, to explore a bit of a breakdown of those ad creatives because it tells you the click through rates. So you can see from there, you know, what is the percentage of people clicking on these ads. So chances are those are ads that are the best with a, you know, that have the best call to action. And a six second view rates is usually ads that have the best hook. So using both of these together can allow you to create, you know, the best hook as possible and then have the best call to action as possible as an example towards the end of your ad to make sure that people take action. Then if you want to aim also for a specific type of ads, which you want to do, let's say a bit of a skit. So I am seeing some type of these ads working well recently. So ads that are, you know, fairly long, they're on the minute or even, you know, they're close to a minute long. So you can also filter through these right here and then take a look at all of the long ads currently running. Chances are that those are probably in the same style as you wish. So the TikTok Creative Center is not a bad way per se to find ads. It's just not as complete as other third party tools, maybe. So if you really want something complete, I would definitely recommend go and check out Big Spy. It's good for not just TikTok, but also for other ad platforms currently running and use that in conjunction with Addison. If you're looking for something, you know, pretty quick and you're just looking to see some, you know, top of view ads, then I would go with the TikTok Creative Center. And again, Addison also works with the TikTok Creative Center. So that way, whenever you're on here, you can just click on the ad and then you could just hit save to Addison. So whatever way you use, they can all save to Addison at the end of the day. And you can use this tool to compile a swipe file of your ads and kind of create folders and organize yourself through Addison. So I hope you found some value in this very quick video and tutorial. Now, if you're an e-commerce brand or store owner making at least 20 to $30,000 a month with your brand and you wish to explore platforms like TikTok ads, then I invite you to click on the first link in the description down below to book in a very short 15 minute demo call with our team. On that call, we'll take a look at your brand and see if you're a good fit for our e-commerce marketing program. And if that's the case, then we'll help you scale and grow your brand. Make sure you check out other videos on the channel for some more useful e-commerce marketing tips. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.